So remember the facelifted Tiguan arrived and we've been waiting so patiently for the Allspace to arrive and now it has, thank goodness. Um, so now it arrived here in like 2018, it launched in 2017 and something like 1.7 million have been sold globally. Um, in South Africa, just over sort of 7,000 have been sold since 2018. Like it's a pretty successful model for for VW, considering you've got the Tiguan and then, you know, this is just the one sort of with the extra boot space and the extra two seats. Of course I love. What is making a noise? Pissing me off. Oh, it's my water bottle. I don't know why these are my keys. Ah! Nothing like a bunch of keys rolling around, hey? At least you got a little cloppy thingy in there. Um, yeah, the, yeah, I'm sure there's a way to make this. Oh, there we go. Do you think I've been doing this long enough that I know that you press a button and then it's going to hold my water bottle instead of just be letting it fly all over the place? Bloody idiot. Okay, so like the standard to you on this has had that update, you know, like a few sort of styling thingies. It's now got the IQ light LED matrix headlights, um, digital cockpit. Um, it's also now got these touch controls, which, you know, we don't love, but, you know, here we are into the future. Um, the slidey ones is the ones I'm talking about. I don't know if you can hear Luca's chair going, a little, 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 but sorry about that. But I have to make a comment here quickly about a car seat. Even though it's a bit rattly, the car seat in this car specifically, VW and the Tiguan in, in particular has one of the best sort of ISO fix, uh, what's the word? Like, uh, not departure. Anyways, entry points almost. Like it's, they, they really make it easy. There's a lot that are like sort of hidden into the seat. You've got to get your whole body behind the seat to try and click them in. This you can do from the side. Click, click, easy, easy. Someone had a family. Someone who designed that knew the hell of car seats. And so wanted to make it as easy as possible. So there are four derivatives to choose from, three different engines, um, and you no longer have obviously the comfort line, train line vibes like that. It's now the life, the design, and the R line. Um, I'm in the R line, obviously. Then your engines, you got the 1.4 liter, that's got the 110 kilowatts, 250 newton meters, four cylinder turbo petrol. Um, then you've got the two liter where you can get 132 kilowatts of power or 300 and 320 newton meters of torque. Um, but then like this top of the range R line, you're getting that two liter with like some extra oomph. So you've got um, 162 kilowatts of power and 350 newton meters of torque. So certainly got a little bit of punch there. Also, I like that the power as you can see, is instant as you put your foot down. There isn't much of a delay going to the wheels via seven speed DSG. Um, yeah, I, I think all the engines in this lineup, like the Tiguan, are fantastic. Um, actually, this is obviously one if you want, you know, much more power, but fuel consumption. So it's claimed at around 8.6 liters. Um, well, I'm sitting at 11. <laughs> That's not amazing. Um, but again, you know, I, like I say, take the claim fuel consumption and take mine and find a middle and you'll probably find what you'll get. Ah, oh, a dirty dancing song with a bit of a beat. Come on. Don't you feel like <laughs> This is fun. And I'm not even like an kind of person. Well, after a few drinks, I'm any kind of person. So the thing, you know, actually about this car is more, you know, it's practicality and um, well, it's all kinds of practical, which I love. So this boot space is at 760 liters. Um, the standard Tiguan is at like 520. So that's quite a difference. Now I use this car like if you've got one kid, even two maybe, like I would never use those rear seats unless you know, you may be carting some of their mates around and you don't need luggage and whatever. But like, I would just always have that back, those rear seats flat down and have a Mursa boot. Cause that's how I roll. You know, and that's the point of this car for me is the massive boot. Um, and obviously the extra seats, but I don't care about that. I just like the big seats. Ugh, the big boot. Um, 
So there's about a 38,000 Rand difference um, between the standard Tiguan on top of the range model equivalent um, to this one. This is at 822,000 Rand. <coughs> I hear you. Um, you can get the entry level, which is not entry level, but the life model that comes in at like 704, 705,000 Rand. Then you're looking at about a 55,000 Rand difference between the equivalent standard Tiguan. Um, so obviously you've got to think about, you know, what your actual needs are do you need the space or will it be like a nice to have and um for me like vw puts it so perfectly like this boot and this space is for everything that you need and everything that you don't need i mean it's talking directly to me when that is said okay because i would say with one child and a husband who packs pretty lightly I don't need the extra space, but I certainly want it because I want it for all the things that I don't need. Okay. And you've seen, I took, what did I take? The Volvo XC90 away and jam packed that thing. I mean, we couldn't fit anything else into it. I mean, it was insane. So yeah, uh, this is the kind of car that I would actually go for if I needed the extra space. With that said though, okay, because it is quite a lot of money. I mean, you encroaching on a mill there, you know, just, well, 200,000 rent short of, but if you're at that point, I'm like, you know, you've, you've made it. Um, is something like the Cherry Tigger 8 Pro, because, I mean, that comes in under 600,000, right? It's like 500 and something. Um, it's got more safety spec, a sunroof, a bigger boot, and seven seats. And it's comfortable and it's lovely. It, I know it's not Volkswagen and it, I want to say it doesn't feel as premium. I think that's only because we're very used to the Volkswagen feeling. But I can tell you that that Cherry Tiggo 8 actually feels very, very luxurious inside. That top spec one is fantastic. So, I mean, look, you're going to probably look at something more like a Kia Sorento or Hyundai Santa Fe in terms of this, even though it's a bit more pricey at the top end. but. I don't know if I was you, if you need the seven seats and you're on more of a budget, look at the Cherry. Um, but if you can afford it and you love Tiguan and you love VW, then this is superb. Woo! Building it up, you know? <laughs> 